rebound bars. Let's quickly talk about what rebound is. In a crash, all of the objects in the vehicle are going to move towards the point of impact. In most cases, that's going to be the front of the vehicle. We also know that the most serious and potentially fatal crashes are frontal collisions. Let's talk about what that would look like in a frontal collision. When you have a child in a rear facing seat, so I'm going to use a rear facing only infant seat for example, this would be an infant seat that has a base and some bases may have that anti-rebound bar or panel that braces the back vehicle seat. So what's going to happen is they are going to move toward the point of collision first. Typically an infant seat will move a little bit like this. It might rotate a little bit downward. Then it's going to stop and come back. This is rebound. What's happening here is that rebound bar is coming back and bracing against that vehicle seat and preventing the seat from rotating back up too far this way. Some seats will do this with a rebound bar or a panel. Sometimes it might even be the handle position. And in some cases, it could be another feature of the seat, such as cup holders. Don't worry, we are going to address stability legs, also known as load legs, a little bit later in the series. Those are the legs that come down from the base to the floor, and those are just another form of energy management. So now that Holly has told you what an ARB does, I'm going to show you what they look like on a few seats I have here in my house. This is the anti-rebound bar on a Peg Perigo Nido. Some infant car seats, like the Cybex Cloud Q, also require that the carry handle be rotated forward towards the baby's feet when you're installing the seat without a base. That turns the carry handle into an anti-rebound bar. The belt path is built into the carry handle right here, and that's great because it also helps eliminate misuse when it comes to carry handle placement when you're using an infant seat. This is the anti-rebound bar on a Klek Fünf. Now, this particular anti-rebound bar is really interesting because it also, on this seat, will typically give you a couple extra inches of leg room for extended rear facing, which is awesome. For more expert baby and toddler safety tips, follow the Jamie Grayson and Safe Beginnings.